Maritia Sana, seated spinal twist. We are going to look at some warm-up variations on working towards the seated spinal twist. We're going to start in Dandasana, which is staff pose. This can be quite strong if you've got tight hamstrings or if your core and your back muscles are a little bit weak. You're going to take your right hand, cross your body onto the outside of the left thigh. You're going to take your other hand behind you. You're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out, you're going to twist. We're not going to go into it too deeply because this is the warm up. You're looking to get your chin in line with your shoulder. On an inhalation and twist. And if your back is aching, you can take your hands down in between these poses. Again, not too far, just to ease up the back. You can do this in between every pose if you want to. I'm not going to. This time you're going to take your other hand, you're going to take your left hand across the body, other hand behind, leaning forward, breathing in, sitting up, breathing out, twisting. And again, not too far, you're just getting the body warmed up. Make sure those feet are not flopping to the side, that the toes are roughly pointing towards the ceiling. And then breathing in, coming back round to the front. Now, drawing up the left knee, you're going to take the foot across the leg. You're going to take your right elbow across on the outside of the knee, fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Take your left arm up, take that arm around and drop it behind you. You might have lovely long limbs and be able to place your hand flat on the floor. I tend to do a sort of snow globe effect where I place my fingertips on the floor to be able to push up into my fingertips to sit up tall. You don't want to collapse or round into that lower back. To come out of it, lift the hand up, come back round, and we're going to take the foot back across and slide the feet down. We're taking the right foot across this time and the left arm comes across, reaching forward, breathing in, sitting up, and breathing out, coming round. So notice that my shoulders are more in line with the long side of the mat this time, as we start to deepen the twist. The chin in line with the shoulder, always looking to lengthen up through the spine, Lift up the arm now, come in round, lift the foot up and straighten out the leg. So we're going to bring the left leg up this time, taking the right arm across, bringing the arm back round. We're going to just deepen the pose a little bit more. So I'm stacking the knees one on top of the other almost like a cow face pose and this time we're going to look to do the bind so lifting up that back left hand and take the back of the hand onto the waist so this involves a little bit of core work and then dropping the arm and placing it in between the hole you've made in between the legs now some poses you'll go round the leg the way I do it I take the hand in between thigh in the calf and remember you want your inner elbow to be facing your leg and you'd be surprised how many people try to bend their elbow the wrong way so coming back out of it bringing the arm round and then lifting up the feet and now we're going to go the other way this time we're going to take the right foot across Take the left arm on the outside of the knee and bring in the arm round. Stack in the knees. So I'm lifting up that back right arm, placing the back of the hand onto the waist. And remember that inner elbow is to face the leg as you bring the arm through to make the bind. 
you've got to have a little bit of shoulder mobility to drop the shoulder to get the arm through. You've got to have some core strength so you don't lose your balance in this position as well. And remembering to breathe in each breath, you're going to stretch the rib cage and deepen that stretch. So coming back round, lifting the legs up and placing the legs straight back into Dandasana. Thank you very much.